In this numeric response question, we have the graph y equals to f of x, and we're asked to write it in this format here. So it's a radical function. We want to write it in that form to find the value of a. So what I need to know is something about my base function. So if I look at just the graph of the base function of square root of x, I know that that's a graph that starts right at the origin and it opens to the right like that. So I can see a couple of things have already happened. The first thing is it's not opening up and to the right, it's opening up and to the left. So I know that there has been a horizontal reflection which means that my b value at the very minimum will be a negative 1. I also know that I'm not starting at 0, 0. I'm actually starting at 4 and 5. So that means I've had a horizontal translation 4 units to the right and a vertical translation of 5 units up. So all I have to do now is solve for a. I'm going to use another point that it passes through x and y to solve for a. So let's put this all together. f of x, which is the same as y, equals a, the root of negative, x minus h plus k. And let's substitute everything in. So y is 11, x is negative 1, h is 4, and then plus k, which is 5. So 11 equals a times negative. Negative 1 take away 4 is negative 5. Underneath the radical, two negatives make a positive. So negative negative 5 is a positive 5. So to get to a, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. 11 take away 5 is 6. And then to solve for a, I would just simply divide both sides by root 5. So I know that a is equal to 6 over root 5. Now I don't have to rationalize that because they're not asking for the answer as an exact value. I would just have to put that into my calculator to come up with the decimal value. So I know in my calculator that 6 divided by the square root of 5 is 2.68 rounded to the nearest hundredth. So the answer to this question is 2.68.